Well, good day, everybody. I recently had the opportunity to be invited by my friend, Dr. Tom Bonner, veterinarian in East Texas, to come to Brewer Land and Cattle Company and uh, ride along with them as they gathered the cattle in preparation to process and palpate them. And I just wanted to show you the ranching industry in Texas and all that that entails and give you hopefully some good footage of us doing that. So stay tuned. I was appreciative of Jake Reed, the cowboy and herd manager on the right, letting me borrow a horse and ride along with them so we could show you exactly the inner workings of their ranching operation. You can see there's lots of dogs, quite the foggy morning, but we uh, initiated a drive from the south of the pasture that we're going into and then um, met up with the other cowboys coming in on the north side of the pasture and drove them all into a big group and then held them there for quite some time. You can see these cows off in the distance there are pretty high headed. Um, they got some they, they got some Brahma influence in them and so those cows are used to trying to get away from humans and dogs but we're trailing along just pushing them into a bigger group you can see all the guys on horseback there and the dogs are doing their part to circle the herd and put them into a mob of cattle and then held them there to settle them down and get uh, get ready to drive them to the pen. So you can see the dew still on the ground, very foggy. Um, there's about 445 head of cows in this uh, pasture and we're just taking it nice and easy and letting the cattle settle. So you can see in the distance here the mob of cattle and the dogs are working around the edges to keep them all close together and you'd see they just circle and circle and circle there's probably i would guess 15 to 20 dogs they're black mouth cur dogs and are excellent cattle dogs and so we once once the two groups of cowboys met and got them into this mob we just sat and waited on those cattle for a while just to let them settle and get the idea that the dogs are, are in control and keeping them in that mob so they don't tend to want to run off. So it was pretty cool watching these dogs work. They were quite well trained. I was very impressed with that. And you hear a little whistle there, which is Jake calling the dogs off, and you can see they come a running. And he was headed off behind us to a little tank. I don't know, I didn't see what was going on. I wasn't sure if he was letting them drink or just wanted to get them off the cattle here for a few minutes. But they came a scampering away, and then here in just a second, we'll get to a clip of them headed back towards the cattle again. And so, very nicely done by the dogs. And you just see how the cattle just mobbed up and took a back seat and waiting on directions on what to do and where to go. So very nicely done. Yeah. 
So they got the cattle all bunched up, the dogs bait them up and got them all where they're not wanting to run off. And now we'll start driving them to the pen. I'm going to hang back a little bit, let them do their job, not get in the way. But this is the big pasture, 2,100 acres, at least on this, this ranch. There's 445 head of cows on this particular place. And we're going to take them to the pens. And they'll start working these cattle, so y'all are in for a treat today. Let's see what working an East Texas ranch is like. It's not rough country at all. Not like I was raised in in Arizona. It didn't take us about a week to gather this many cattle. That's We had about 400 head on my dad's place and rough, rough son of a gun. It'd take us about about a week to gather all the cattle, get them all in the same, in one bunch. Those, those dogs keep them Keep them bait up so they're all in a group here so that's quite the sight. Fog's finally lifted so we can actually see something. Sorry for the camera jerking a little bit. I'm trying to be as still as I can stop here My horse won't be still, so excuse that. She wants to go. She's all about it. These cows kept wanting to make a break for it, and had it not been for these dogs, I suspect the rodeo would have been on, and all bets would have been off. They'd have scattered like a covey of quail. But the dogs are there for a purpose, and they do a really good job.
we're headed to that big building there in the background that was a commodity commodity storage barn built i believe around the turn of the century and that's where the pins are so they're easing that, aw that away and we'll have them captured here in just a little bit you don't see a lot of running the cattle and roping them and doing all that. Sometimes that's necessary. But the key here is to get them in a group, get them bait up. These cattle got some Brahma blood in them, so they really respond well to dogs. And go just as easy as you can so you don't get in a wreck and have cattle going everywhere. So easy, kind of slow, just taking it, taking them as they come. Let the dogs do their job, let the cowboys do their job, and let the cattle do their job. got to the corner of the pasture close to the pens we had to push the cattle through a, a gate and put them in another little trap prior to getting them into the corral and you can see those cowboys are hanging back letting the cattle find the hole going through the gate the cattle want to come back the other way the dogs the dogs stop them and we just sit tight, let the cattle find the hole. You can see them running through the gate there, down the hill into the, into the next little trap. And from there, we've got them captured. So again, these dogs are absolutely invaluable. You can see the cattle going through the gate from another shot. And this looks like a sea of cows rolling on through. So they made a little wing here with the trucks and trailers against the fence there so the cows can't get past there and then they're just gonna 
squeeze on up here. You know better than that. I taught you better. I taught him better than that. I've been trying to buy him and not sell it.
horses are absolutely essential to be able to work these cattle and move them from pen to pen and from pasture to pen. Um, nothing as valuable on these ranches as a good horse that's well trained and it'll allow you to get around these waspy cattle and and be able to make them do what you want not what they want. The other thing that's super helpful given the Brahma influence breed that they're dealing with on this ranch are these dogs and you can see here they're trying to pin this this little group group of cows that they're going to work at the last of the day and they're having a bit of a time trying to get them to go where they want them to go they want to cut back they're always wanting to be wherever you don't want them to be and so they kind of reached a stalemate here cattle weren't moving through the gate like they needed to and so another cowboy that's out of view of the camera went to the trailer and let the dogs out and watch what happens those dogs come a running and they do a number on these cows get that one that cut back back in the herd the rest of the cows figure out we got to find a hole and off they go in into the in through the gate and into the next pen so invaluable resources well-trained horses well-trained dogs that's what it takes to make a working cattle ranch work and pay the bills. So, hope you enjoyed this ride along as, as these cowboys and, and one cowgirl gathered the cattle. And you can see all that goes into that. Appreciate you riding along with us. Hope that you have a great day and stay safe out there.